Hello guys, um, first of all I want to say sorry for my bad English, I'm a native German speaker, I learned English in school and it's not my, not my native language, yeah? <laughs> and yeah, today I want to make a comparison between the Anna Pro 2 and the Royal Clutch 61, which you see right now here in front of me. On the bottom it's Anna Pro 2 with Gatoron brown switches in white. Um, I'm sorry for the reflection right now here, but it's a white keyboard and I'm sitting right next to the window, so Obviously there's going to be some kind of reflection and the Royal Clutch 61, which you can see probably a little bit better. And yeah, I may actually turn on the... Ah, okay, I won't, I won't do that. <laughs> okay, um, it will reflect even more. Um, yeah, and today I wanted to go in deep with the build quality, the features and the prices. And if it's actually worth to go up double the price of the Royal Clutch 61 to the Ana Pro 2, even though they're both 60% keyboards, I use them myself for competitive Fortnite. I play those cash cups and um, yeah, just if, in case if you're wondering, I placed around 50 to 60 points. So I got some experience um, with using those keyboards and I bought them myself, especially actually for Fortnite, for competitive Fortnite. And yeah, first of all, first things first, um, I would go in deep with the build quality. There's actually no real banding or squeezing between both of those. They're both um, at a really high quality and you can't really feel which one is actually cheaper by using them just the only noticeable difference was that um, the keycaps are a little bit more loosey on the Royal Clutch 61 than on the um, Ana Pro 2 that's the only difference I noticed but it won't make like a huge change in terms of using it actually because you will just press them down and they will react the same um, they're both obviously, um, no, I will go in deep with the features, they're both obviously 60% keyboards. I think more or less even the same size. I haven't measured them, but from what I see right now, they're both the same size. And they're available in all kinds of switches, I think. Yeah, I've seen the Ana Pro 2 definitely with uh, MX, Kalil and Gateron switches. Um, and the Royal Clutch 1, the Royal Clutch 61. I've seen as well with, um, yeah, here we got MX switches, we got Kelo switches. So yeah, there's really no real benefit in going for either one of those. Um, yeah, <laughs> wait, that was said wrong. Like you won't get benefits from using another one. Like both, um, all kinds of switches are available for both of those keyboards. And yeah, <laughs> so you can obviously put all kinds of keycaps on them. 60% keyboards are anyways the most uh, customizable keyboards on the market right now. Uh, for the Ana Pro 2, I used the um, delivered keycaps, which were already in the box, for some um, rubber double shot uh, keycaps, which I bought. These are actually used very often by pro players. So yeah, you just got like some kind of extra grip using those keyboards. And um, yeah, these are actually made for uh, Cherry MX keyboards, but as you can see, it's no problem using them even on the Gatoron switches. They're anyways like the same build um, structure, Gatoron, Kellen and MX switches. Like you can put all kinds of keycaps on this. Um, yeah, as I said, the only difference is that the keycaps on the Royal Clutch 61 uh, are a little bit more loosey, but there's another difference. Um, the Ana Pro 2 uses obviously USB Type-C, as you can see here on top. And the Royal Clutch 61 still uses micro USB. So obviously using USB Type-C is a benefit for the Ana Pro 2. You get faster uh, data transfer, shorter travel times and everything, all this technical stuff. I won't go in deep, not right now. But um, yeah, that's a benefit for the Ana Pro 2. But it won't make a huge or noticeable difference, I would say. Like I use both of them personally myself and I haven't really noticed anything. And yeah. They're both um, feature Bluetooth, so you can turn them around and turn on the Bluetooth mode. They will work. Um, I don't have the exact times right now in mind, but I think both of them are around 10 to 12 hours using in Bluetooth mode if the LEDs um, are on. And yeah, the last category is prices. As I said, the um, Ana Pro 2 is basically pretty much double the price of the Royal Clutch uh, 61. The Ana Pro 2 goes around for $75 depending on where you live. You maybe have to pay 
uh, a little bit more shipping costs or um, stuff like that, taxes. And the uh, Royal Patch 61 is mostly about 35 to 40 dollars. Um, obviously, you can get lucky in a, I don't know, kind of sale, Christmas sale or something, and pick those up for a little bit cheaper. But yeah, I don't really see like a real benefit in either both of those. The only points, as I said, is on the Ender Pro 2, you get USB Type um, C, which is a, okay. This is this is like a nice feature. I would take that. And the keycaps are like not as loosey as on the RK61, as I said. But yeah, both of those are available in uh, black and white. So you won't benefit in, I don't know, buying the Ender Pro 2 because they got like more kinds of customization um, options. They're both available in the same colors and you can pretty much put any kind of keycaps on those. There is um, like another small difference, which is preference. Um, the Royal Clutch uh, 61 is a little bit more flat. I don't know if I can show this um, in the end of the video. I will probably. But um, the Ender Pro 2 goes like a little bit more up, I would say. And this is actually pretty comfy for the hands, but this is only like my personal preference, I would say. Uh, yeah, sorry guys, I did a small mistake there. I didn't meant to compare the sound between both of those keyboards, I meant to compare the RGB because it wouldn't make any sense to compare brown switches to um, blue switches. Obviously the brown switches are gonna have like a softer click noise and uh, MX blue switches are gonna be like really loud and clicky, that's what they're known for. And yeah, on both of those keyboards you get a decent amount of RGB obviously. Um, it looks really good on both of those, not gonna lie. Um, you get a couple of RGB modes and patterns for both of those keyboards. I'm just gonna show right now here on the RK61. Yeah, it looks really good. So if you like RGB, actually the Royal Clutch 61 um, is a really good option for you. But as I noticed, the RGB isn't as bright as on the Ender Pro 2, but I can't show it really right now because of the, yeah, the reflection here right now. I don't know why probably because of the camera but um yeah the rgb isn't as bright as on the Ender Pro 2 that's the only difference i realized and probably a lot of people will agree with that who own any of those keyboards or both of those probably both of those yeah <laughs> and <laughs> yeah but it still looks good i think that's just a thing where they had to go for like cheaper components on the Royal clutch 61 because of the price obviously if you go up double the price with those keyboards they're gonna be some benefits on the Ender Pro 2 so don't get me wrong the RGB still looks really good on the Royal Clutch 61 but it's not as bright and colorful um, as on the Ender Pro 2 and yeah that's actually all I would like to conclude here to this video both are really good keyboards um, the Royal Clutch 61 might be the winner to price to performance but if there are some style, um, some little things like USB Type-C which you would like to have on your keyboard or a little bit brighter and more colorful um, RGB, then go for the N Pro 2, definitely. But anyways, elsewhere I wouldn't see any real benefits to going for the N Pro 2 for double the price. And that's all I would like to come conclude to this video. If you liked it, um, please make sure to follow and subscribe, it would mean um, really much to me. And yeah, see you hopefully in the next video and I'm out so far.